And that was me eating toast. Now that was the boring part of um, whatever this thing's called. Vlog, that's it. I'm going to just move my toast over, turn over a new leaf. Who turns over a leaf though? It, a leaf's more of a, a metallic object, so it's not actually physical. Well, it is, but I won't go into details. Um, this video is about time travel. And um, it is actually physically possible. Now, um, you might have heard the term wormhole quite a few times. Uh, if you like, if you're a very science fiction, if you watch Star Trek, you've come across the word wormhole. Now, uh, the wormhole is physically possible by the laws of physics because we have a, a kind of a 2D or 3D dimension and if you bend that universe so if it's bent like that you have a crevice between time and space and there's a theory where back in time's there and uh, forward in time's there so it's kind of going in sync well actually this one would be going forward in your case but the universe is here that be back in time that forward now, if the dimensions were to collide, it would open up a rift where two could cut, become one. Now, it is possible, but very unlikely it will ever happen. Also, to get through that void, you'll need uh, about as much power as a star exploding. And make sure if it didn't implode, if it imploded, it would have made a black hole. And that that wouldn't get you anywhere because no one ever been through a black hole and like lived. Um, yeah, it's a short video, but uh, I suppose this is one thing. Time travel is physically possible, but if there is if it is possible, as human we have to be realistic. We can't go back in time and kill Hitler because there's certain events that might have happened. Some people might not have been born thanks to that. People in Germany wouldn't have influenced it enough. They would be still bankrupt. Certain things would be out of place, so you can't kill such a key person in history. Also, if you make a mistake, you can't go back and stop you from doing it in the first place, because then you'll make a paradox. So, to be honest, you want to think, if you ever do come across a wormhole, very unlikely, but if you ever do go back in time or forward in time, do not change anything. Just don't. You change the tiniest thing, like even moving someone out of the way. If they're <clears throat> maybe a family member's about to die, you want to stop them. Don't do anything like that. It could change the course of history. Say, like Batman, if he had the ability to go back in time and he stopped his parents from being murdered then he wouldn't have become Batman and that wouldn't lead on to Robin and Nightwing, Batgirl, all the different things that was created off that one person's tragedy. So yeah, this video is going to end with me finishing this bit of toast. Um, if you don't want to see me eating toast, um, go. I'm sure you don't want to see me eating toast, so uh, see ya.